everyone, Comic Reviewy here, this time reviewing on Action Comics issue 496. Now, as you know, Action Comics was, is meant to be the series that features Superman. From basically the starting point, there was always meant to feature the Golden Age, and the Bronze Age, and so on. So the cover has Superman grabbing onto the planet Krypton, with everyone sort of blaming him for his super disease. And it starts off how everyone is asking Superman for help, and he says, I... I can't now. I tell them. I can't save anyone. Because I am the reason they're all dying. And it mainly starts off on the bottle city of Candle, where the scientist council are explaining about something that's happened and that they need to contact Superman. You've got Lana Lang signing an autograph to a fan and how... Clark is kind of seen as a bit of a lackluster and saying, interesting, is that the best she could do? And she does point out that, you know, she's a, that Lon points out that Clark is a bit of a lackluster and not really a interesting reporter. So after hearing the Bottle City of Candle calling for Superman, he decides to mimic an actor's voice and Lon Lang thinks it's going to be like this big time actor which Clark quickly leaves, and Lana says, Mr. Grant, I am so... Oh, 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 you're not Mr. Gary Grant. You're all right, my dear. You're not so for Lana either. And so, Superman manages to leave, and manages to contact one of the scientists, who points out about his last visit, about putting him through quarantine, Turns out that there's been a kind of breach, and that the super disease has now been spreaded across the world. And Superman does sort of ask, is there a cure? Can you find it? They do say that they'll try and find one as quick as they can. And of course, Superman flies out. He pretty much gets a call from the Justice League Watchtower. And as soon as he thinks he sees it, it fades away. And he's quick to think that it's one of his enemies, their enemies, but quickly flies back to Earth. And thinks about finding Supergirl, and she fades away. And Simon's wondering if this disease is affecting his mind, or kind of causing him to kind of be deluded. So, of course, a big rubble happens, and turns out... It's an alien scavenger who's come to take this world, like so many others that had died. But Superman points out that his people are working on a cure, but he doesn't want to listen to reason. So of course he tries to go against it, him, but ends up being hit by red sun energy beams, which kind of scorch his hands. And in the bottle city of Candle, the scientists explain what they really did. They hit Clark with a sort of serum that, under stress, can release a fair amount of antidote around the planet, and showing beams of other things. And they point out about the sort of thing, sort of alien scavenger that they believed was a sort of illusion, but one of them point out that it's not what they think it was. A giant sort of green dragon was supposed to be. And they realise to their dismay that what's happening is actually real. And of course, Suman manages to take on the threat. And basically brings the alien scavenger to the future. Where he can't do any more harm. But of course, he tells him to wait. As he sees something going on. And they both find out. That even years in the future. That human civilization has lived underground. And Clark realises to his relief. That his people did find a cure. And even the alien scavenger points out. That he's not really a threat. He's just preserving worlds and other things. And after this Lana does get a cold. And which he says Clark says about staying at home and not spreading it. And yeah, this is the story. So the story, I would say, 
is actually pretty good. And it does sort of foreshadow the coronavirus that's been going on. And it is a bit of a cautionary tale to how sometimes things like diseases, germs, bacteria, and tampering with what with what God intended is dangerous. And by the end of it, it does become a bit of a cautionary tale. So I think this issue deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.